Hey people, Zarthwomp here, and welcome to episode 19 of The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Last time, we returned to the past, and as a child, we went to Zora's River, we played some songs for some frogs, and then we went to Kakariko Village, where we drained the well and went down it, only to discover that essentially the village's water comes from some crypt of the undead so we fought off some creatures we got the lens of truth and now we're going to do some more stuff as an adult so let's go okay so anyways i know that i said that we we could go straight to the next temple however i just realized that for the sake of efficiency it would be better to do a little detour first i mean it's not like we have to okay my voice is a little loud Okay, there we go, there we go. Okay, so anyways, let's just get going. Okay, thankfully opponent's still here. So, let's get going. We're gonna go to Gerudo Valley. Oh, yeah, that's the thing with opponent, where basically, you just can't start moving like in other Legend of Zelda games. Where basically just you press the A button, you just start dashing forward. In this one, you have to just wait for opponent to start moving and then you can move. Yeah, too bad we don't have a too bad we don't have some intermediate warp. I mean, sure we have Fiore's wind, but that's more of a very selective sort of thing where it's like, oh hey, I know that I'm gonna be coming back to this location often. So I'm going to be going back there, and I forgot to turn the pages in my in my little guide to myself. Uh, no, this is what happens when you ride horseback preoccupied. So, anyways, if you actually want to do the Spirit Temple first, you could actually do it. We're basically just you could cross over that bridge with Epona. As you can see, the Gerudo are no longer guarding it. I guess they figured that the snapped bridge would be enough of a deterrent. So anyways, go this guy. Hey, that's all! Uh, it's mine! Give it back, you asshole! And then that guy just punches Link. That's for stealing my stuff, you douche! Now I'm gonna return the favor! And then he just takes Link's shoes. He doesn't even take Link's wallet. He doesn't take any of Link's items. He just takes Link's shoes. They're nice shoes! They look warm! But I thought I left that saw with my old lady! Oh well, my Bigoron tool broke, so I was going to Goron City to get repaired. You're, you're coming here is great timing. Will you give me my saw? Good kid, thanks. I'm sorry that I can't give you something that's good in return, but take this anyways. Okay, anyways, broken Goron sword, but how is this guy a poacher? This guy is a carpenter. <laughs> I make it out of the ivory. Anyways, we can't do much. We can't do anything with this sword just yet, but this sword is going to result in something good. So anyways, now that we have that. Yeah, if we wanted to, we could start we could start the way of getting to the spirit temple. However, just I just want to do things in order, you know? Pona, no! Pona, go down the go down the thing. The legendary steed, everyone. Okay. Okay, so anyways, with that done, now we can head on over to Kakariko Village and start the next leg of our adventure. So basically, like with like with the child era, basically, we are we are basically going in the order of Kokiri Forest, Death Mountain, and then Zora's Domain. And then basically things fall into place from there. But I have to say this, basically, just as much as I like the setup for the whole adult era and how it does have a distinctly different feel, just once you've been here for a little bit of time, just and even as so much as soon as you br you beat the four sample, it feels like okay, everything it's pretty much like the kid era except well you're an adult. Opponent can't enter the village. 
Yeah, but though it is cool though, just the the shock that you get when you first enter. I like I personally like the adult. I like the mechanic in this game over Link Link to the Past, where basically just it does feel it does feel more seamless that way. But anyways, our next thing is we're gonna basically try to remove the dark clouds from Kakariko. So anyways, let's get going up to Death Mountain. We are not selling that guy things in our bottles. Okay. Yeah, we're in a good spot. Okay, so let's head up the mountain. And as you can see, just Death Mountain, the big difference here. There are rocks. I'm getting my ass hit me by a tech it, te by a techite, and a rock. Yeah, I mocked the rocks here. But yeah, that's the big difference between Death Mountain and this era. Basically, you got rocks. Oh, by the way, the Dongo's Cavern is actually unique because that rock apparently wants to go to Dongo's Cavern. The Dongo's Cavern is actually the only child dungeon that you can enter as an adult. So yeah. It is interesting, basically, coming to the Dongo's Cavern when you're fully grown and basically Link can just speed run the place because, well, he does, he can climb that one ledge. Okay, so anyways, we're just gonna head up to, Go we're just gonna head up to Goron City. We, and technically we could, I think we could head straight to the temp, to the next temple. But you want to go over to Goron City because you, we will be getting an item that will make the next temple there actually doable, you know? So anyways, go to Goron City and it's empty. The Gorons finally starved themselves out. So anyways... Bomb... What? Come on! Hey! Hey, asshole! Asshole, come over here! Okay, let's just take you out. Come on. Okay, there. How can you do this to me? You, your Gandorf servant! Hear my name and tremble! I am Link, hero of the Gorons! Come on, let's speak to you. I thought we had the speak appearing. Come on. Come on, let's speak to him. Oh, okay, he was in the wrong direction, that's why. What? Your name is also Link? Then you must be the legendary Dodongo Busting Hero Link. My dad is Darunia. Do you remember him? Dad named me Link after you because you're so brave. And he said that you owed him 20 rupees, so he wanted an eternal reminder to get the money back. It's a cool name. I really like it. Link, you're a hero to us, Gorons. I'm so glad to meet you. Please give me your autograph. Sign it to my friend, Link of the Gorons. Oh. I guess it's not a good time to ask you for this. Please help everyone. My dad, Darunia, went to the fire temple. A dragon is inside. If we don't hurry up, even my dad will be eaten by the dragon. B -b 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 You'd better try to calm him down if you can. Maybe he will calm down if you talk to him. What do you want to ask him? A long time ago, there was an evil dragon in Wolvagia living in this mountain. That dragon was very scary. He ate Gorons. Using a huge hammer, the hero of the Gorons, boom, destroyed it just like that. This is a myth from long ago, but it's true. I know because my dad's a descendant of the hero. Boo! Yeah, and then watch out, basically. Hero wasn't even trying to defeat the dragon with the hammer. He just wanted to hit the dragon's head and with, just cave in the dragon's skull just because. You'd better try to calm him down. Okay. Yeah, so anyways, guys, asking about the Gorons. Everybody was taken to the fire temple. While my dad was out, Gendor's followers came and took them all away. <laughs> apparently, dad, apparently my dad wasn't too keen on getting ruled by Ganondorf. He said he was a do 
York. So Gandor came here on a peace mission. He came in wearing all this weird outfit. He was wearing a T-shirt with all the Looney Tunes characters on it. He was he had a denim jacket that had cool dude embroidered on the back in rhinestones. He was wearing green workout pants. And, and giant yellow shoes, you know Sora shoes from Kingdom Hearts, it was like that. And he wore these 2004 New Year's Eve glasses. He said that he was a cool dude. Yeah, I just got him. Hello, Darunia. What the hell do you want? What the hell are you wearing? Oh, you like? This is my swag outfit. This is what I wear when I want to show people that I'm cool. So anyways, now that I rule the world, I want to apologize for that little mishap seven years back. I thought that I could persuade you by letting the Dodongos in the cave. I thought they'd be your friends. But then they got really scary. They were breathing fire. So I, I tried to block the cave up with that rock so I could think of something to do next. I was a little confused, so I went on a walk. But then when I came back, it was all good. So I thought, hey, it's all resolved. But I am a good guy. My surrogate mommies raised me to be a gentleman. So I just wanted to apologize. Will you be my friend? You want to play Donkey Kong with me? Hell no! You sure? I'll let you be Diddy! Spit the bricks, asshole! Okay! <laughs> and then Darunia throws a rock at Gator. Ow! You hurt me! Damn right I did! What the hell? You think I'm going to let some dork like you just walk around my village? Okay, that's it. If you don't want to play nice, I'm gonna take you to the fire temple. I'm gonna take them all to the fire temple. Your people will be my friends. <laughs> all of them will be eaten by Vulvagia unless my dad apologizes. But my dad says that only cucks apologize. Dad said the Gandorf has revived Vulvagia as a warning to those who might oppose him. Gandorf is going to feed them all the Vulvagia. Though frankly, I mean, if Gandorf wanted to just take out the Gorons, he could just put another rock in front of Dodongo's cavern. Seriously, just do that again. Just boom, another rock. Dad went to the fire temple all by himself to try and save everyone. Please help, Link. I'll give you this heart-resistant res heart tunic. Yes, heart-resistant tunic. You could be an asshole in public. Okay, so anyways. With this tunic, we can now endure the volcano. Okay, so anyways. When it comes to tunics, you'd be surprised that basically just tunics don't really play that big a role in this game. Where basically, you only have to wear the fire tunic for this one temple. And other than that, it's more or less aesthetic. So anyways, you're probably wondering just how we could go, how we're going to get to the temple. Are we just going to climb all the way up Death Mountain like we did before? Well, no we're not. Because, see the statue from Dar in Darunia's area? Well, now that we're an adult. And now that Darunia's not here. That's right, secret passageway to Death Mountain. Okay, I could have sworn that there was a... Yeah, there's a great fairy just somewhere nearby. I think that we can basically bomb these rocks or... Actually, no, no, no. These are... these. We need the item from the next dungeon. Yeah, so we're going to need to actually wait before we can, uh, we can get this next item. We don't need rupees. Yeah, the funny thing is that basically when Link becomes an adult, it actually becomes harder for him to actually get it 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 makes it harder for him to get his hands on items in pots. Okay. I thought we could jump that, but apparently we cannot. Okay. Yeah, we can actually grab onto that bridge. Apparently, just the Gorons want to be haphazard. It
It is something that grows over time. A true friendship, a feeling in the heart that becomes even stronger over time. And then Link's like, how are you surviving in here? And where did you drop down from? This is an open volcano. Not important. <laughs> yeah, but seriously, how is she enduring the heat? The passion of friendship will soon blossom into a righteous power, and through it, you will know which way to go. This song is dedicated to the power of the heart. Listen to the Boldero of Fire. the Boldero of Fire. Link, I'll see you again. Huh? Yeah, and then Link gets disoriented and falls into the, into the magma. Okay, so anyways, now we have a warp point so we can get here. And for reference, we, when we first arrived in this area, back during the child era, we were up there. And then we went to that little nook over there. So anyways, with that said, let's go back to the Temple Time. Ah, darn it. I forgot the bull I forgot the Prelude of Light. Okay, up, right, up, right, left, up. Because, now that we have this song, we can actually get another piece of art. Though, we're going to need to be a child first, because this one's going to involve a magic bean. So, let's go back to the child era. Yeah, that's the, yeah, really, it is cool, though, how basically, thanks to these warp songs, you can actually go to places as Child Link that you would not have been able to go to before. Okay, I am always horrible when it comes to remembering these songs. Down A, and then right down. Yes, we're going to go to Death Mountain Crater. So, since we have a lot more health than the last time, we can actually stay, stick around. So anyways, we have about a minute and 36 seconds. So let's make good use of that time. And... That's all we need to do is Child Link here. Yeah, and because of those rocks, we can't enter the fire temple. So yeah, Child Link can't do can't speed run the the fire temple. Okay. So anyways, let's get going. Head on back to the adult era, and we can actually get a. You know what? I think it would actually be a good idea to basically start the fire temple off in the next episode. Okay, but anyways, first off, we're going to warp back. Actually, yeah, first we have to grab that piece of heart, though. Uh, where's my mind today? Okay. How this magic bean can survive here, I don't even know. No, no! 
Okay, good, good, good. We made it. For a second, uh, for a second there, I thought we jumped into the lava. Yeah, and Link just just gets blasted with this volcanic smog. Okay. There we go. Another piece of heart down. And now we can just jump on down here. Okay, so anyways, on that note, I think that now would be a good time to end things off. I really appreciate that you stuck around to watch this episode. You're a great viewer, and I hope you come back for the next one. If you like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you want. With that, I'll see you next time. Bye.